Taranga News, the news show that brings you all the news that doesn't make the news. My name's Matt Lawback. Welcome to the show. This week, we can confirm that the number of students studying in their pyjamas is on, a, on the rise, with many still staying in bed. With students we can now stuck at home learning, the now school's been left children to the are animals. Away from school. Our chickens have taken the great opportunity and are uh, roaming around the yard, making the most of this newfound freedom. They have been reportedly breaking social distancing laws, uh, but are completely ecstatic at their new opportunities. In other animal news, we'll cross now live to Miss Hines to see what she's up to. Report. I'd like to share with you some of our animals from home. Over here, I will show you our aquarium, which has some brightly coloured fish, and we're even lucky enough to have some happy jellyfish in our tank. The reason I love these fish so much is that they require little to no care, and yet they can still brighten up the place. This is Cassandra Hines reporting for Yurunga News. It's back to you in the studio. Thank you very much for that in-depth report, Miss Hines. We always knew you were up to something fishy. Now, with all of this take-home work happening, we've decided that Tuesdays will be now known as Photocopier Appreciation Day. The amount of work that these machines are now coping is absolutely astounding. We'll cross now, live to our on-the-ground reporter, for further on this breaking news. Hello. Welcome to Yurunga News. I am Amon News Deliverer. We are here on site at Yurunga Primary School where as you can see there is quite a line. This line goes all this way, follow me please camera person, all this way down to our good friend, um, Phyllis the photographer, photographer, Phyllis the photocopier. Now we couldn't get a comment with Phyllis because she's so busy at the moment, but as you can see we have this full on line of people who are waiting to get their photocopying done. This happens pretty much 24 seven at Yurunga, even when people aren't here. A bit scary, it's unusual that you don't get to use a... Uh, oh, what's going on? Oh, this is Kate trying to cut the line. That is a massive no-no, unbelievable Mrs. Kane. I just wanted to make a copy. Um, I'm not sure you have to wait this long to use the photocopier. This is the line to use the photocopier. What did you do? I thought there was something cool at the end of it. No, sorry, buddy. Stop this. Where you have it. Frustration's boiling over. Yes, uh, copy that and thank you for that report. Uh, a positive note is that uh, with all the extra work, the photocopier is now feeling very toned. In other news, the Grade 3 4 students have reached out into the community to make some new friends. They are taking this responsibility very seriously with a lot of new pets being adopted by these homes. Yes, you can see that friendship is just a stone's throw away. Across live to a breaking story to our reporter Amarina, who reports about some incidents happening in a very deserted staff room. Amarina, over to you. Hi, I'm Amarina Huggins from Yurunga News, and we're reporting on the case of the mysterious missing fork. Here with me, I have Detective Caleb. Well, hello everyone. At the start of this year, there was plenty of fork, and now that all oh, get him, get him. There's been a break in the case. Got it! Amarina Huggins signing out. Report Amarina, and I must say it is great to hear that some action has been taken. Let's hope that there'll be no more spaghetti eating attempts using spoons. In sporting news, there has been scenes of wild excitement in the Lawback household as I finally remembered to buy a sea-sized battery for our recently purchased Let's Go Fishing game. Because strategy seems somewhat questionable, we can say that there'll be minutes of entertainment added through the use of this game. Exclusive scenes of controversy surrounding the training program of Mr. Raisin's planking program. Whilst he thinks he has nailed it, we would say that his training plan may need some more construction. Or on this story over the coming weeks as they unfold. We now check in with Miss Powell to see whether she has anything to tell us this week. 
on Monday, it was a lovely day and it was sunny, but now it's already wet. It's so wet, you're going to need a jacket to keep dry. You might even need to put on a beanie and a scarf to keep warm in the rain. It's perfect weather to come inside. Snuggle up in your dressing gown or snuggle up with your favourite blankie or maybe with a friend. But the rain is set to stop on Sunday and it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. That's all we have time for this week. Thanks for watching the Yurunga News. If you would like to report any happenings in your neighbourhood, please get in touch with us via our school Facebook page. Until then, we leave you with this footage of our school guinea pigs at Miss Kay's house. She reports that these guinea pigs are quite the explorers and have been rummaging around their garden each and every day, whilst being locked up safely at night, of course. Stay classy, Yurunga. We'll see you next week.